Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, MuttPacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. All right, boys, we have our first zero chill gameplay of the whole entire promo, and it is going to be Mike Evans right here. I plan on getting all of the gameplays. We're going to do Ladanian Thompson later, and then I'm going to try to grind my best for the free Deion Sanders wide receiver. But first here for Mike Evans, he looks like one of the better wide receivers in the game. He is six foot five, 230 pounds. Let's get right into the card. Make sure that like button, hit that sub button. And let's get right into it. All right. So looking at Mike Evans, he is 93 speed, which is not the fastest in the game. We do have some 94 speed guys. We even have a 94 speed, six foot five wide receiver in Calvin. But looking at Mike Evans, his stats are absurd. Absolutely absurd. All of his catching is 95 plus. So for all of you guys throwing the high balls right there, this card is going to dominate for you there. And then I do have the purple route trade track card so it's giving a lot of route bonuses right there so i have a 97 short a 95 medium and a 98 deep and like i said six foot five 230 is absolutely insane his abilities though not very good three ap route tech is his discount and that's not really discount we have two ap's in the game it's i wouldn't even use that I'd probably just use the two ap short and elite and then in this th this slot the other discounted slide does get runoff elite for one ap debot elite for one ap and red zone threat for two ap so not good discounted abilities at all we even have some free deep out elite in the game i think randy moss gets it but we're gonna use short and elite deep out elite and we're gonna get that double me on him hopefully get that active but i'm excited mike evans always plays amazing and madden He's also the only player in the game with tattoos besides like Odell Beckham. So let's get into a game with him. See if we can nominate. Hey right, boys, we did get into a game here and look at our Mike Evans. 96 overall is absolutely absurd. I hope we get the ball first. We are home. I want to get out of this chunky, uh, this chunky stadium and oh, there's no way we're away. There's no way. All right. There's no way we're at home. We're kicking the ball. I always la I know for sure last year when you were home and you have your settings set and receive, you always got it, but Seems to not be the case this year. All right, boys, we are on offense. Don't ask why. I ended up just letting him score. He doesn't have the, the best team in the world in this head-to-head -head game. I don't know why. I was in a three-minute queue, so I guess nobody's searching. I'm literally recording this five minutes after Zero Chill came out. I got him right away. But let's look at Mike Evans already wide open right here. He's looking good already. I mean, like I said, he's like the only player with tattoos, so you can always always recognize him on the football field. We do want to try him out in a lot of fashions. I know this guy's probably going to run a lot of zones, so we're going to try some high balls. Hopefully, we can get the double me activated so we can try to get some crazy plays like that. But let's see. I tried to put custom unis on too, but they did not work right here. I'm throwing this right at him. We're throwing it right at him. We have a 6'5 wide receiver. He has no lurker on him. I don't care if Ted Hendricks is 6'7". You got no lurker. I'm throwing that every day. All right, boys. I don't know what I'm running, but I wanted to switch it up a tiny bit here and that is an awful play call i let me not do that that was i don't even know what i just called right there that was the ugliest thing the worst play call i could have called this right here is my favorite play you guys know if you've been to any of our videos we quick snap verticals and look across the middle for a high ball but it looks like we actually i'm throwing this i think we actually might have i mean that's the thing about six foot five right you saw the corner behind him think he had a pick and all i had to do was press y and our six foot five wide receiver made the easiest play of his life i mean that was just too easy right there i'm telling you when you have tall guys in the field it makes the game just it's a cake it's a cakewalk going in here on the second drive i think dude that he does have the new jalen hurts though i will say he does have the new jalen hurts but around that he doesn't really have too much and look at our guy caveman and Dion meeting him in the backfield all right baby i mean his team's not terrible he has kyle pitts and carmichael maybe i'm underestimating it a little bit i think that's exactly what i'm doing right now i'm 100 that's exactly what i'm doing I don't even, I don't know if that's the full Kelsey, but I see Kelsey. This DJ Moore card's all right. I think that's DJ Moore. I can't really sell, but let's see what he's got going for us right here. And it looks like it is DJ Moore. He's throwing it underneath. What will he do on fourth and six? I'm going to guess he's probably going to go for it. Yep. He is hurrying up as well. I'm going to man up our guy right there. And then I'm just going to guard DJ Moore. Let's see. He's actually throwing it underneath and there's no, yeah, there's no, that has to be Kelsey. That, that card's super fast. That is just a perfect case of me just you know under gauging what our opponent could be i told you i he does have a good team and look at our guy Deion sanders in the backfield second and 17 already all right all right and yeah i'm kind of getting annoyed because these jerseys are pretty hideous i like to get custom unis on to make the gameplays look a little bit better but i kind of messed up i kind of messed up i don't know what i did but they did not activate for this game and right, we're not blitzing Deion this play because we know exactly what he's gonna run he's gonna run that that flat route from kelsey we're gonna guard dj Moore right here let's see what he's got going for us here on third and 22 the play action is still coming along, and we're going to... I almost messed up really bad right there. Carmichael almost lost us. And surprising enough, he is actually punting the ball. You don't really see much punts in this game. I know this guy is in his playoffs, but 
Like I said, I, I no one ever punts the ball, especially when I'm recording gameplays. I feel like I'm the unluckiest player when it comes to it. But hey, we'll take a full field with Mike Evans again. All right, I, I'm going to try out something here. I normally don't try. I'm going to run a screen and we're going to throw a high ball to him. I heard that's the best way to get screens to go. And Mike Evans, oh man, that is Seth Joyner out there. I think he's running a little bit of an Eagle team team, but that could have been crazy. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to mix it up a little bit more. I'm, I, that screenplay, I probably should do that more in gameplays, honestly. But looks like he actually went to... I don't know why I threw that, but Mike Evans is going to bail us out. I don't know what I did right there. I threw that no matter what, like a bot. All right, boys, we went back to that empty. We have Mike Evans activated. Let's see. Is he going to run two? I think he is going to double team him, isn't he? We actually, I think Mike... Did I just press the wrong button on accident? I'm actually going to run away from that. I pressed the wrong button on accident. I, I, I don't know what I did, but he was B. He was wide open. Oh, he's not going to press us again, is he, man? I'm going to look for him, though, over here. I think we have the one-on-one. -on -one. We could test it. And I think we actually might have just burned him right there. All right, Mike Evans. Mike Evans is looking good. That's the Sauce Gardner as well. I know that's not the best card in the world, but 90 Sauce Gardner. Definitely you don't want to put on our 95 overall Mike Evans. That was an easy tutter. All right, here we go, boys. I did end up letting him score again just so I can get two possessions in a row. You know, we do get the ball at half as well, but... Oh, I tried it again with Mike Evans. That screenplay is so, eh, you know, I got to get a better blocker than Kelsey out there. Yeah, I like Kelsey a lot, but like in the in the blocking game, he is probably one of the worst options you can get. He never blocks a soul out there. Let's see if we get a nice little play going here with Mike Evans. I think we might have him with a high ball over here. And look at that X Factor, man. We did get it. We probably would have dropped that in a normal pass, but we are going to hold on to that. That X Factor is so good. All right, boys, let's see if we can get anything going right here. And it looks like Mike Evans may be on the sideline. He is still going to be wide open. And now we get to see some... All right. I wanted to see some Mike Evans after the catch. And yeah, that is not a beautiful sight at all. That juke move was pretty awful. Mike Evans also does have two touchdowns in 183 yards. If we could score right here, we'd have three touchdowns over 200 yards with him. This would be an absolute beautiful way to end the gameplay off. And let's see. I think we are going to have him wide open. And Mike Evans, baby. Come on. All right. This guy is in goal line on the six yard line. I don't know if I recommend that too much. And we're just going to have a wide open Mike Evans in the back line. I mean, that was super easy. I don't know if he was trying to let me score so he can have another possession before half, but hey, we'll take it. That's three touchdowns in over 200 yards already with our gameplay wide receiver. All right, boys, let's see if we can get a stop right here. I think a stop right here probably would get him out of here, and we're probably going to be done with the game. And it looks like, oh, I did not expect the screen at all, but let's get a hit stick. Oh, we got something on him at least. I'm going to guard the side with the running back so that doesn't happen again. And it looked... All right, well, I'm not, I'm not too uh, happy with how that went through, but that should have been a pick. All right, all right. First and 10, what does he got for us? He's actually running the ball. I did not expect him to do that. And our guy Atwater with the big hit stick. He only has one timeout left. We do get ball to half, so if he doesn't score right here, this is probably going to be the game at the end of the day because our offense has been absolutely dominating. But let's see what he's got going for us here. And it looks like an overthrow. All right, second and 10. It looks like he's snapping it right away. I'm okay with him catching this. If he gets three, the game is 100% over. All right, second and 10. What does he got for us now? We're going to go guard all the breaking routes. I mean... We're just, if you're going to run four verts, I don't like running man, but if you're only running verts, we're going to run man. I want to see him run something else. You know, I want to stay in zone. I'm a zone player. I have zone abilities on the defense as well, but if you're going to run this, I, you know what I mean? And yeah, that's with one time out left and running with the quarterback. I don't think that's the best play call in the world for our opponent right there. I'm going to be honest. All right, good news is I have to go to the wide side. I called it on the wrong side, but we do have Justin Tucker. We have Justin Tucker. So all we got to do, I think it's the 43-yard line. We are in a dome, although that doesn't really matter in Madden. There's still wind technically in the dome. I think we actually might have it right here. All right, that was way oh yeah, We got inside the 40, yeah. Justin Tucker's about to hit this easily. And Mike Evans, you can see right there, 239 yards in three touchdowns. And he just caught a very clutch catch right there to make us go up 10 points before half. And like I said, we get ball after half as well. So we're in a really good spot. Let's hit this field goal. All right, you can't ice at halftime. What are we doing here? Let's just hit the field goal real quick. There we go. And this should be very, very easy for us. That's too easy to hit kicks in this game. It really is. It's like, this is a very hard hit, hit field goal to hit in real life, but it's so easy to hit in Madden. All right, boys, I ended up just chewing out the game. I was just trying to do some crazy stuff with Mike Evans at the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. He had almost, I think he actually did crack 300 yards. I'm not 100% sure, but I know he had three touchdowns on the board. He had a clutch catch to end the half as well. He's definitely a good receiver in the game. I mean, this card is definitely a beast. He's going to be in a lot of the high ball ag meta. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. Peace out, boys.